Give me the Amato. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. So greetings, you absolutely gorgeous individual. Welcome to another video. This time I'm doing a review of the SH Figuarts Yamato from the One Piece line. Anyway, here we have to figure out the box and something's not right. Where the bloody hell am I? Ooh, new room. <gasps> the Grand Canyon. So yeah, all gags aside, I'm filming this in a hotel because I'm currently on holidays. I was hoping I would film everything at my place and then edit the video while I'm on holidays, but I ran out of time, so some of the clips are shot at home. Well, most of this review is uh, done here, so this review is going to be very jumbled and uh, also I am going to keep my voice down a little bit because I don't know how thin the walls are here. <laughs> so I'm going to scream like an idiot this time. I'm sorry, no, sir. But yeah, with the figure out the box and overall, it's a pretty damn good figure. So I got the Luffy in this line so far and that was a really disappointing figure, I'm not going to lie. The Zoro I skipped because I heard he was absolute garbage and I'm not going to bother with that one. The Sanji I skipped as well because I don't like the outfit. Shush. I do apologize for the shit lighting. Um, again, I'm not filming this in my regular area. But yeah, let's take a look at the faces. Although I should probably start with the default face. But yeah, I think the face looks fairly accurate to her on screen appearance. That TV series One Piece. The horns do look quite nice as well. They do get a bit of a seam line running up the uh, side of the horn there, but not overly noticeable, so not the worst thing in the world. Well, that's all right then. And there we have the hair, which looks goddamn beautiful. I like how the hair goes from this white to this teal to this bluish color. I think it looks pretty damn good. And of course, all the sculpt in the hair looks goddamn beautiful. So anyway, moving on to the body into the bloody boobs. And surprisingly, the skin tone actually matches pretty damn good with the, the face, the arms, and the body. Um, usually with SH figures, they screw up the uh, skin tone where it just doesn't match um, throughout the entire body. But uh, in this case, it's done pretty damn well. Uh, the shirt piece here is a separate piece that was glued over the top of the uh, torso, so it's, you know, it's more than this white color. And there is a bit of paint shading under the boobis a little bit. Anyway, moving on down to the probably the most concerning part of the figure, and that's the skirt piece. Um, I originally thought that this was all going to be one piece, but no, it's actually four different pieces. Um, got the two on the side and then the two on the front and back. Um, and it is a fairly flexible plastic. It's not like the Ghetto or the uh, Sasuke skirt pieces, but it's not a stiff piece like the uh, the Whis. But it does hinder the uh, articulation a little bit because it is a plastic piece after all. And there we have Yamato's Yamato's. And then there's the back of the figure. Um, you got these giant uh, rope thingies. I don't know what to call these, but yeah, and it's sculpted pretty nicely, I guess. Looks a bit goofy though. And when it comes to the detail, I think it's pretty decent. Like it's got a bit of paint detailing and shading throughout the figure, but uh, nothing too extreme, but yeah, well, it looks pretty good. So with accessories, so it just comes with a default face, a happy face, a very happy face, a teeth clenched looking up to the side face, and then a yelling face, or maybe it's a singing face. And for the hands, you come with a pair of fists, a pair of wide spread open hands, uh, one of these cupping hands, one hand to grab her waist, some praying hands, and then three pairs of gripping hands, uh, all different sizes, got a tight grip, mid grip, and a loose grip. And that is for accessory, this weapon here, I don't know what to call this. I have no idea what this weapon's called, so I'm going to call it the uh, plonker for this video. But yeah, it's been sculpted rather nicely, it's all this one colour, but yeah, it has this sort of shiny sheen to it, so it looks pretty damn good if you ask me. And then she comes with probably the most inaccurate looking face of all time, which kind of looks like Luffy, not going to lie. But surely it can't be for him, because I am buying a Yamato after all. So overall, when it comes to the accessories, it's yeah, pretty good, like, you know, it comes with a weapon, so that's nice. Plenty of faces and plenty of different hands, so yeah, I think overall, pretty solid amount of accessories. Anyway, on with the articulation, so the hair is on an adjustable peg at the top here, so you can go side to side, up and down. And there is also an adjustable peg at the uh, midsection of the uh, hair, which, yeah, also has some nice range there, so nice. The head moves up, down side to side and also has that ball peg at the uh, lower neck there. Ball peg at the shoulders which works as a butterfly joint. Arm uh, moves out. 
all the way around. A simple cut at the bicep, which I love it when SH Figos does this. Um, sometimes they have to like fuse it with the uh, shoulder joint, which I really don't like because it doesn't really work. So yeah, a simple cut is always way better, in my opinion. Double joint the elbows, adjustable peg at the wrist, bull joint here, bull joint here. Adjustable peg at the, uh, whatever you call this here, so you go side to side, up and down. These side skirt pieces have adjustable pegs, so they do get out of the way. Ball peg at the hips, which can move out and out to the side as well. A cut at the upper thigh, a double joint at the knee. Ankle moves down, up, ankle pivot, and a toe bend. So overall, you do get some pretty good range of movement there, although it's a little bit hidden by the uh, skirt piece, of course. But anyway, moving on to size comparisons. Here's the blazer, which is just your average SH Figot size. So yeah, she is quite a large figure. So overall, I actually think this is a pretty great figure. So if you like the character, if you like the series, or just collect random figures, then I definitely do recommend picking this figure up. But anyway, that's what the video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and turn on the next one.